Hello UiPath experts, welcome to the UiPath.learner channel. Today, so we'll see that a small task, the, you're seeing that there is Excel, the task 1.xlsx contains the two sheets, one is a PROC1 and PROC2. The PROC1 contains the, uh, each sheet has a single column, the process ID, so 1, 2, 3, and the PROC2 having the also a 1, 2, 3, and uh, apart from that, there is a 4, 5 also. So basically what what we require only the unique ones which is not repeated in the, pro, the first table so proc1 is one table proc2 is another table so which is a common so we have to abide those two which is a common and we have to get uh, which is not common that means proc2 has a, a, a value which is not existed in the uh, proc1 let us try to do that one so let us go to the uh, use the excel application scope And so first of, all, first of all, we have to read the all the both the both the tables, both the sheets, and uh, using the read range, take the Excel read range, and the sheet name is like a proc one. Proc one is a sheet name, and here the data table is like a uh, DT DT proc one. So we have a data. DT PROC1 contains the first sheet data and uh, the next sheet, sheet is like a PROC2 and uh, create another data table called DT PROC2. So we have two data tables. Now we will use a join data table, join data table. So in the join data table, so I'm just using the what is a PROC DT DT PROC2 and uh, there's the first table DT PROC1. And here, DT proc one or two. So basically, so we're joining these two data tables and uh, store the result into the output output table. So we're using the same tables, or you can just use the a new table called result DT. Okay, so I'm using the left join or so full join. So let's take a left join. So because the left side had table contains uh, extra extra values, right? So using the zero equal to zero, that means so first column equal to first column. Instead of zero, you can mention the within the double quotes the column name also. The list this is the left side table and this is the right side table. Okay. Let's click on the okay. So the result will store into the output result DT. So once we done, so let us try to write range. So write range a data table. Let's take this outside. right range and here is there any data table so it contains a sequence scope just increase the scope basically increase the scope to the at the top level so that you can access outside so here final data table dot xlsx so this final dot data table dot xlsx contains headers and so we're storing the result dt let us try to run. So we have a PROC1 data, PROC2 data. So the PROC2, the table 2 contains the more data. So now see here, uh, go to the, the folder, this is a final DT, open this final DT.xlsx. You can see there's a two columns which contains the or oh, the both the values left side and right side so which is a matching left side and right side as well as the the left side full information that is called left join okay so now what we need only these values so what is the condition so we can use a simple filter data table so where the uh, the second column having the uh, empty okay so let us take those thing as do the filter data table filter data table within the filter data table use the result dt equal to result dt and uh, so keep the one that is the column one is empty now this will store into the result data table let's delete this one the data table and try to run
let's open so the result is like okay, only the values which is containing the yes, so, so if you want to remove this data columns you can remove let us uh, try to remove the data table data column so remove data column remove data column you have to provide the what is the data table name result t and what is the column index that is the one okay so let us try to run again so this is the result so what we done so we take in the uh, two tables values uh, two sheets values in the two tables uh, and we just use the left join and uh, use the some filters see here now we are getting the the result which contains only the uh, the values which can uh, that, that means so that the table 2 contains the values which does not having the table 1 so this is a solution thank you thank you for watching please subscribe if you not yet subscribe thank you very much